excited to have you. Our next guest is somebody who defines his own personal KPI of his life around the total number of happiness minutes plus the total minutes of giving happiness to others and really was a, a personal mentor to me and continues to help behind the scenes here at the podcast in a number of ways um, through his local organization Rocketeer which is a company built to help startups and small businesses of all kinds be more productive, be more happy and be more successful. So ladies and gentlemen, Please put your hands together for a good friend of mine, Mark Rowland. Mr. Rowland. I have a mic. Yeah, you have a mic. Good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's great. But uh, so thank you so much for coming out. I know we have You're some welcome. big announcements to get to in a minute, but first, um, talk about some of your work with Rocketeer. So, so I've been working with the community for yeah, two years now. Half of that was commuting from Sydney, which was a pretty long commute. I was doing that for about 18 months, and then... Uh, Managed to finally convince my wife and kids to make the move here. And we've been doing Rocketeer now since on and off for the last 18 months, but officially for the last six. Yeah. Okay, so when you were mentoring Ticket Cake, which is early on before you had taken this job with Rocketeer, even created the concept as far as I know, mm -hmm. you introduced me to uh, a slew of books. Like, that, like your main way really wasn't preaching at me or telling me what should be done, but a lot of it was like learning about who I was and then trying to find things that interest me, right? So you were talking about Victor Frankl's book mm -hmm. and um, Man's Search for Meaning. So I got a, this is a book I recommend to everybody, but it talks about, uh, or it's a person who survived the Holocaust and like really what it's like when you have nothing, like literally nothing left mm -hmm. in your life. Um, you taught us about the six hats concept, which was mm -hmm. about the different kind of roles that you need to play just to be successful in your life. But all of these things open up the door to other things. So what are um, you telling some of the newer startups now um, to read and learn about that um, some of them could benefit a lot of these entrepreneurs in the audience? Same books. Oh, That's same thing. Oh, yeah, you just, you just rehash it. <laughs> Makes it easier. Okay, well, expand on it. Tell me, tell me more than the ones I mentioned right here. Well, one, of the, one of the good books we're asking people to read now is Reinventing Organizations, which is, oh, yeah. which is a really read cool book. It. I know you've read it. Um, which is sort of talking about how you can take the, the growth in human development and apply that to organizations. And all about self-management, which, which I'm a big believer in. You still do the NLP thing? You teach people about still that? Still do NLP. I'm okay. a certified hypnotist, as you know. So. Yeah, no, I've been hypnotized by you. <laughs> Anyways, who knows? Does anyone know what NLP is? Like, just out of curiosity, because I didn't know at first. Programming. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, if you want to yell it out, go ahead, Evelyn. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, yeah. Yeah, New York the hypnotism thing, yeah, so. Okay, um, all right, well, let's move on. What's this big announcement that uh, is going on? So I've just been appointed as the CEO of DTP Ventures, mm, which we've just heard created. Of DTP Ventures. So it's it's um, DTP or Downtown Project is a really big umbrella kind of loose organization of a lot of really cool things and concepts. It was a creation of Tony Shea, as you know. Um, I couldn't really be a CEO of that. That would be a bit weird because it's right. kind of like just an ecosystem. And so what we did instead was we've created a kind of an entity inside of that called DTP Ventures, which has all the 300 people that full-time work for the downtown project. So 50 people in the support office, 250 people in all the wholly owned entities, the Gold Spike, the market, downtown ranges, et cetera, um, as well as the infrastructure for the Small Business Fund and the Vegas Tech Fund. And all of those people now come under DTP Ventures. Okay, so that's a lot of responsibility you just took on. Yeah. But there's, I know there's a lot of employees, and remember I was, uh, I worked for them until I got laid off as part of a thing, but um, yeah. I'm, it's okay, no, it's okay, it's all right, it's all right. Glad me to do the podcast more, so whatever. <laughs> Blessing in disguise, you never know. Um, but tell me about, uh, what is, does this change the purpose of the company? Does this, what kind of it changes, especially people who are locals downtown, what can they expect? Sure. It doesn't change the purpose of the downtown project itself at all. It actually helps, um, I guess, just reaffirm that. We haven't created a purpose for DTP Ventures yet, other than the purpose that we have for the downtown project itself. But uh, no, I mean, hopefully it will just help bring a bit of structure and energy and focus to the vision and, and help us to actually realize it. That's great. Um, well, ex ex just expand more. Tell me, like... What's the most important thing we should know about this change as community members? The, I like uh, double espresso with a little bit of hot water. <laughs> My you favorite all the like That's the goal? <laughs> no. Just kidding. Yeah. No, I mean, for me, the biggest challenge that I see for this is how can we convince everyone that lives in Las Vegas to give downtown a chance, to actually right. come downtown to check it out. There's some incredible restaurants, bars, yoga studios. I mean, you name it. There's, I know you love your yeah. Bikram yoga. No, I uh, no. <laughs> Don't get me started on Bikram yoga. That's, that's well, yeah, a good it's just story, convincing. Just, yeah. 
my kids go to school in Summerlin and uh, I talk to the parents all the time and they've, um, not many of them have actually been downtown in a long time. Okay. So they still remember the old downtown, not the new downtown. So I think we've got to convince them. To yeah. Go. Well, I watched your interview with Frank uh, Gruber from Tech Cocktail and you talked about how some people had, you, maybe you overheard it or somebody said that like really Las Vegas stops at the stratosphere. People don't go past that. Um, I was a friend of mine who was at CES who was told five years ago, please don't go past the stratosphere or you might die. Oh. Oh, yeah, okay. Kind of, kind of a bit. You, you think I'd remember that detail, <laughs> but I remember the boring part of it. But uh, so what does that mean? Are you going to change that? Like, are you trying to change that uh, mindset in people? I mean, not me, not me by myself, <coughs> but as a community, I think we, we can all play our part with that. Community? Because I don't think we use, at Downtown Project, I remember when I was working there, we don't use the word community anymore. <clears throat> but we use co-learning, connectedness. Uh, Lots of things, C's. So. Yeah. Yes. Um, but is there any changes coming in any of the terminology that you might be using? I'm oh, wanting to that bring... The, that was the worst lead. Oh, yeah, just keep going there. <laughs> like, that was just, like, so you're bringing so community obvious, back. So obvious, so <laughs> obvious. But anyways, but tell me about any new terminology you may be bringing back. <laughs> We're bringing community <laughs> back, Dylan. Yeah. Yeah. So... You mean you're bringing community back, the term community. Mm -hmm. We've been waiting for this for a while mm -hmm. at the Downtown Podcast. Community. 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 Why are you here, everybody? <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you for coming out. Give him a big round of applause. Mark Rowland, check him out. Rocketeers. Thank you. It's a good thing. All right. Great. Thank you. The internet, the world's most amazing tool to stare at adorable cats, like all day. But it doesn't have to be that way, really. Tracky helps you connect, collaborate, and get stuff done. It's a social way to organize your personal and professional life. Inspire the people you work with. And inspire yourself to enjoy more of life's little things. And when the work is done, Tracky helps you plan, and play. Gather your friends, have some fun, and make sure your plans are awesome. Fun, easy. Nobody needs to worry about bears this time around. A long day and a fun night deserve the thwack of a high five. Welcome to Tracky, the tool where everything and everyone in your life works together in harmony. Connect, collaborate, done.